So far in level 2 of the online Pali course, we've seen that the past participle is commonly used as a substitute for a finite verb in passive sentences. So the past participle can be used passively. Pasado devehi nimmito. The palace was or has been created by the gods. But we've also seen that the past participle can be used in active statements, such as Ahang Nagarang Pavikto I entered the city. There are a few more uses of past participles than this. First, they can be used more or less as adjectives. Devehi nimmito pasado sundaro. The palace created by the gods is beautiful. Bhagavata desito dammo akaliko. The doctrine taught by the Blessed One is timeless. Kopita Devi Pakanta The Queen, angry, departed. In these sentences, Nimmito, Desito and Kopita are all adjectives. So the past participle can be used as an adjective. In Pali level 1, we saw that adjectives could be turned into neuter nouns. Unsurprisingly, the same is true of past participles. Like virtually all adjectives, the neuter of a past participle can also be used as a noun. Tasa devasa nimmitang atisundarang. The creation of that god is extremely beautiful. Maya matang najanasi. You don't know my thought. Matam here means literally what is thought. Upasika bikuniya basitang padjanati. The laywoman understands the nun's teaching. In these sentences, nimitang, matang, basitang are all neuter nouns. The use of the past participle as a noun occurs in an important teaching on mindfulness in the Samanya Palasutta. Bhikkhu, gate, tite, nisinne, sutte, jagarite, basite, tunhibave, sampajana, karihoti. The mendicant becomes fully aware in the acts of going, standing, sitting, sleeping, speaking, waking, or being quiet. In this sentence, the past participles are used as nouns of action. Gate refers to the act of moving, tite to standing still, nisinne to sitting, and so on. They're all neuter nouns formed from past participles, and they're in the locative case because the sense is that in the act of going, the bhikkhu is fully aware. The term sampajanakari is a compound word, a word made up of two different terms. Sampajana means full awareness, and kari is not a feminine noun, but a masculine form of the in-stem word karin, so it agrees with bhikkhu. We'll look at both words kari and sampajana in lessons 8 to 9, and then extensively at compounds from lessons 17 to 20. There's another important use of the past participle to be aware of. We've already seen that the past participle can be substituted for a verb. So jita mayang means we are or have been defeated, and it follows the general rule for omitting the copula. The statement is short for jita mayang hoti. There's an alternative way of stating this. Instead of omitting the verb to be, the verb us, also meaning to be, can be used instead of the pronoun. So in other words, the past participle can be used directly with a finite form of the verb to be. This means that instead of jita mayang, we can also write jita amha, which can be shortened to jit amha. And instead of jito aham, there's also Jito amhi or asmi, shortened then to jitomi 
or jitosmi. Instead of jito twam, there is jito asi or jitosi. And instead of ahang kilanto, we could have kilanto asmi, or more simply, kilantosmi. This formation of the past participle in combination with the verb us is quite common. It often occurs in direct speech when referring to something that has just happened. So jitta atta or jitata, meaning you are or have been defeated. This statement has the sense of an action that has just been completed and finished, what in grammar is called the perfect tense. A similar formation with the past participle combined with the verb who instead of the verb us is often used in narrations of more distant events. This formation is very common in the Pali Canon when narrating past events. For example, Ayasma Anando Bhagavato Pittito Tito Hoti. Venerable Ananda was stood behind the Blessed One. Here, tito hoti means was stood or standing. Pitito is an adjective, meaning behind. Then, bhagava tamha samadimha vutito hoti. The Blessed One had emerged from that absorption. These two examples use the past participles of intransitive verbs in an active sense, in combination with the finite verb hoti, indicating something that happened long back. The same combination of past participle with hoti can be used in the passive sense. Bikuna maggo gato hoti. The mendicant had followed the path. Or literally, the path had been followed by the mendicant. <laughs>